Hiya peeps! My name is JJ Jane and welcome to my channel. So first things first that I want to tell you guys is that stress is an unavoidable thing. So you're gonna get stressed like every year, every month, every week, every other day, so on and so forth. And so it's not that avoidable. But I do know a few things that may keep your cool state. Well, I'm posting this video mainly for high school students but if you're a college student and it works, I'm glad it works. I just want to tell you guys because class is almost starting in my country, which is June 3, 2019, according to the DepEd for public school. Anyways, I study in a public school, so obviously we're going to start at June 3, 2019. And before school, I thought that I should post a video about keeping your chill not too stress not too chill but balance it out and i know a few things about it so first tip that i know is to be prepared for everything yes you heard me right be prepared for every possible thing that could happen surprise quizzes surprise tests presentations assignments oh especially um, surprise quizzes it's possible to happen in the early school days so it's best for you to study ahead I keep doing this I have no idea why <laughs> because I have no idea what to do with my arms anyways so you like studying ahead prepare all the important materials that you may possibly need the papers notebooks pens i know people that always forget these these three i have no idea why they keep forgetting the most important items for school i have no idea why and it's also important that you bring extras especially you need to bring extra pens if your current pen is almost out of ink it's also best if you bring like half or less of your papers just in case you don't like your classmates asking you for papers like me i personally don't like that because they're gonna keep asking to borrow your pen i always make sure that not today not ever so if you're sure that your pen is not almost out of ink don't bring an extra one it's also best if you bring half or less of your papers like one fourth one eighth one half crosswise one half lengthwise one whole pad of paper it's best to not bring a whole pad of it just estimate how many times that you may possibly need for it tip number two is to write notes during lectures or discussions only write notes that are important Okay. So I know that there are people and possibly you also have difficulties of identifying which parts are important and which parts are not. I only write notes that seems important to me and it's also good that you try to take notes of fan facts or trivia that your teacher may share to you. It could be useful for some things like for in case for essays, quizzes, I mean or tests. I mean there are some parts of the test, the quizzes and during the essays that you may have to explain like blah 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 blah. And those fan facts or trivias that you took note of can be useful or you know you can just like brag it to your friends that yes i know this i know one plus one is equals to two that's a corn joke so this is my science notebook i know it's not really girlish it's really not that stylish but we were required to buy a notebook that has 
100 leaves and there are less notebooks that have 100 pages so I we were having difficulties and I thought this is it I guess this is close to my liking so here are some tips so there we go so I write notes of this when I try to make fan facts it's this one you see this whatchamacallit those black dots I forgot what they're called but yes I write them in here first that black dot and then the fan facts that what teachers say to me so always keep in mind to write notes that seems important to you and also this is sort of a hack I suppose it's my style but if you don't dig it then don't dig it so there are some parts that are actually too important for us and like formulas for math and science there are formulas so for me I either sort of make a table of contents I heard that so you know that oh, okay so this is the formula for the blah 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 or you can write the formulas in here and be specific about it tip number three is to make sure that you have friends so friends are really hard to come by and finding friends can be a challenge I mean there are friends that will only come to you when they need you and there are friends that will just stab you in the back for fun or for jealousy I'm not sure so finding friends can be extremely challenging I'm gonna tell you get this the best part when finding friends is that you know there are actual people that likes you for who you are make sure to find a friend don't bother on how many friends you should make bother on their attitude their qualities as a friend make sure to find a friend that actually makes you feel comfortable and happy because friends are really hard to come by and they help you they give you advices they sh they share their secrets with you if you're that close now and they also tell jokes to you which makes you relax and not too stressed you know friends also helps you in lowering your stress levels basically they make you happy most of the time so tip number four is to study ahead of time so this is a mathematics dictionary and i still haven't studied it so study ahead of time because it's a good thing because at least you're prepared for most quizzes but be sure not to stress yourselves out during studying. I mean, you don't have to rush it while studying ahead of time. Because after all, you're just studying ahead of time. So tip number five is to eat or drink sugary foods or beverages. I mean, yeah, it's unhealthy, I know. But they relax you, especially chocolate that chocolate helps reduce your stress level so that's a good thing but don't do don't eat or drink chocolate or any sugary foods and beverages all the time or most of the time just not most of the time drink or eat sweet beverages slash foods when needed it's also good that while studying or doing your homework, you're also eating sweets or drinking sugar beverages. I personally bet juices more than soft drinks. They're more helpful to me. Tip number six is meditate. Although I, to be honest, I don't really meditate, but it does help you to stay relaxed and focused meditation is really helpful and beneficial and I think I'm gonna try that someday but for now I'm just practicing on yoga I've currently started yoga internet is my coach because on this tip meditation or yoga whichever you prefer or you can do both these helps you stay relaxed 
calm and cool and focused. It's really relaxing and satisfying. Don't say that you're lazy because being lazy actually won't get you anywhere. Sure, you've graduated to senior high, congratulations, but do you learn anything? You're still gonna get stressed for everything. If you're being lazy, don't let laziness consume you. Try to be more responsible, try to be more mature in your age. I mean, it's fun, it's nice that you get to be immature every once in a while, like, okay, you're doing some things, crazy stuff, but not too much okay balance it out work relax work relax right got it got it tip number seven take a very short nap i mean just take a nap relax your mind a bit relax your body for a bit relax your eyes for a bit it's nice that you get to rest once in a while but don't do that during class don't do that <laughs> do that like break times lunch time if you finish lunch early or after school once you arrive home you can use a very short break like drink water for a sec and then take a very short nap i'd say maybe 20 minutes not 30 minutes i've read something on the internet that 30 minutes of nap isn't actually a good thing and i still haven't researched the reason why it's not a good thing all i know is that 20 minutes that should be your minimum time i know that tip number seven is also similar to tip number six but they're kind of two different things like i want them to separate each other i don't want you to choose between nap or meditation you have to do this separately in my opinion anyways don't follow me if you don't want to i'm just saying that I want you to meditate, nap, have fun with your friends, that sort of stuff. So I recommend you to take a nap 10 to 20 minutes after school or yeah, after school. If you're going to take a nap during break time, well obviously it's very limited and you can't do anything about it. Well unless you want to be scolded by your teacher but you nobody wants that right then do your homework do your projects do your research whatever and that's gonna be it thank you guys for watching this video i hope you learned something new and i hope that you find these tips of mine plus those two hacks useful to you at least just a few of them will help you because it sure does to me if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up by making sure this turns color blue below the video, of course. And if you look forward for more upcoming videos of mine, by all means, subscribe to my channel. And I'll be sure to make sure that you continue to look forward for it. And I do also appreciate it if you guys comment down below the video and give me opinions, suggestions, your comments about this current video or if you want to share your suggestions on what video I should make or what I should improve on if there are many mistakes, tell me if these tips actually help you during your school days and if not, I'm really sorry. These tips of mine just works for me and i'm pretty much sure that this does not work for everyone but i do want to tell you guys that please don't let laziness get into you don't let it consume you try to be more responsible because you know that the reality is a very tough dimension so why continue to be lazy when you can balance it out Balance it out and you get this. Don't balance it. It's heavy. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was original of mine. So that's why balance it out and everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna make sure of that. If it doesn't work for you, 
I'm gonna ask professional help and gonna do our video of this again and see what may suit you guys best but for now I just want to share mine anyways thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye